Gleeklo, Gleeklo, uh, top of Snake Pass, my dog Fudge, Hello. Uh, now this is the start of the walk, this is the first crossing, which is the crossing with the Roman Road, don't know if that's his name or it was actually a Roman Road, probably the Latin, and uh, I don't know how good the sound quality is going to be by the way, this has been recorded on a Hero 3 white edition, not the black or the silver, so I don't know if the basic white edition has as good a microphone, but it is a bit windy up here, so I wouldn't be surprised if the audio quality isn't very good. Anyway, I believe this is the Pennine Way footpath, and over there, in that general direction, is Bleaklow. And uh, the reason I'm going for a walk up here is there's uh, a well-known crash site of a B-52 bomber. Second world B-29, war. not B-52. Now it was actually 1948 that it crashed. Um, and 13 men were all, were all killed. So it was after the war. West Coast, an airbase on the west coast of England. Um, and it's flying over to an airbase on the side of Sheffield, I think. And unfortunately, due to bad weather, it didn't see the peak, or rather, it was flying a lot higher than it thought it should have been. Sorry, it was flying a lot lower than it thought it was smashed into the moor up there, killing everyone on board instantly. Uh, the interesting thing about it is that most of the wreckage, or a lot of the wreckage, is still there. So, it's an interesting walk. So this is the next waypoint on the way here. Where the stone path follows along this ridge and there's also a stream going across. Some came here back in winter, more of a river. You kind of have to paddle across it rather than step across it. And uh, we were actually walking up there because we didn't know where the path was. I remember a couple of times I walked down here and you literally fell into the snow. It was that deep. The, snow was literally up to the top so you didn't know where the path was it was fun but I don't think I'll do it again we both need a broken ankle or two okay so just before the stone start again there should be a slab of stone to our left and there it is so this is where you turn off the Pennine Way and walk on this rather shit peat path. We're probably covered in mud now, but hey ho. Come on dog. Ah, so this apparently is the path to the crash site or no. Hmm. Imagine at this stage a lot of people turn back. Hmm. Bad choice of footwear. I actually put my Wellingtons and my boots in the car and I thought it'd be a bit hard going in Wellies. But with hindsight, I think Wellies would have been a better idea, but oh well, whatever. The directions say it's an intermittent path. Uh, it's basically intermittently <laughs> stone, peat, mud and bog. Lovely. Right, I've put the next coordinate in and basically got to follow this path pretty much all the way to the crash site.
tell you what, the directions weren't exaggerating when they said intermittent path. I think a more accurate description would have been no path at all. But I keep seeing little glimmers of flattened grass where people have been walking and unfortunately litter and stuff so I'm pretty sure I'm on the right track. Anyway, the red flag is where I'm going and I'm not far off. <sighs> I'll work it out this. <sighs> Poor little fudge is knackered. Covered in mud. Come on, the old biddy. Pick fudge up as she's lagging behind. I think she's knackered, poor lass. She's getting on a bit now. 13 year old. She's still fit, but not as fit as she used to be. Uh, just give her a little break. I was going to put the camera on her, but she didn't like it. And she spazzed out a bit, so I didn't bother. Whew. Definitely is bleak. If I miss rolled in now, if I didn't have a sat there with me, I'd probably be a bit scared. Anyway, not far off it now, I don't think. Hopefully, just over this ridge. My previous slagging off of the path wasn't fair, really, because I've just walked up and uh, come across the path again, so it was me that got lost. It's into my path, to be honest. Whew. I'm a bit tired now. Right, that's the snake pass over there. I don't know if you can see the cars. So we haven't really come that far, but it seems a long way because of all the winding paths. Anyway, when you get to this stream here, be very careful because the path oh, it's fallen away and the peat is slippery as snow. I've come a cropper a couple of times, nearly fallen down because it just you stand on something and it just goes. So be very, very careful. But apparently, this path now, according to the instruction, should lead the whole way to the crash site. So, my next video will be of the crash tonight, hopefully. In a bit. Right, here we are. First bit of wreckage. Looks like a tank or something. Pretty sharp edges. The metal looks brand new. Some of it. Look at that there. It's like brand new, 70 years old that. Wow. There's a lot of stone crosses. People paying respect. Hmm. I've just seen a lot more wreckage up there and what I believe the engines. or anything. I'm assuming the shiny bits are aluminium. All that's left of a V-29 bomber. Years 
Look at that. Looks like brand new. Shiny metal. Part of the landing gear. There's a heck of a lot of wreckage. Big, big chunks. That's definitely landing gear. Look at that. Still got the rubber of the tyre. Still got the tyre. Wow. It's like a wing. video let's go and find the on the last clip sorry let's go and find the engines and I turned around and there they are. one two three and four to read it. 